Hi, this is 007 Craft, and I'm going to tell you how to get the hangman's noose under 2 minutes and 32 seconds for your fly the co-op achievement. First thing is you want to try and do this with three players. It's a lot easier than with four. I'll show you how to do it with four here, but the reason you want to do it with three is because three people can fit in one helicopter with the computer player, whereas four people will need two helicopters. Hopefully you'll be host here so you can change the settings. If not, you'll just have to convince the host to put these settings on. Uh, auto aim, allow, friendly fire off, mission difficulty, doesn't matter because you won't really be dying much. Uh, traffic and pedestrians don't matter because you'll be using the helicopter to skip them all. Try and put uh, time of day to midday and weather to clear. It helps you to see a lot better. Alright, as soon as you start you're going to want to head to the right, get inside this baggage cart here. Uh, if you're playing on four players, get another guy to jump in with you because you're going to need two helicopters. If you're on three players, just go by yourself. You can take the SWAT cars too, but I find it's a little slower if you do. As you're driving here, uh, hopefully your allies back at uh, the jet are, are killing enough SWAT members, because if they don't kill enough SWAT members by the time you get back, then Petrov won't come out of his jet. And at this point, you want to discuss with the guy you're driving with here on which helicopter he's getting in and which one you're getting in. That way you don't waste time trying to get into the same helicopter. Instead of braking, when you get to the helicopters, just slam right into the barriers in front of the helicopter and your, your baggage cart will stop. It's a lot quicker way to stop than braking. Make sure you don't get out until your baggage cart's at a complete stop. See, I got out too early here and I fell. That wastes a few seconds. Alright, you want to try and get the guy who's in the helicopter to the right, you want to try and tell him to get to the evac point and stand right in the center of the box. The reason for this is uh, basically he's going to be there when you get there so there won't be any problems and it'll end right away. Alright, once you come down here make sure you land in the yellow box otherwise Petrov won't come over to your vehicle. Unfortunately here the plane got in my way and I lost a lot of time trying to get around this thing. Uh, if your allies haven't killed enough of the SWAT members there will be no yellow box here so won't be able to get Petra. Sometimes he comes out of the jet and he gets stuck or like sometimes he won't even come out at all. That's like a glitch if that happens then you basically can't do it. Alright at this point you can see he's coming over there. You want to get your allies to get in the jet before he gets there otherwise they waste time. As you can see my ally there with the white coat he didn't get in the jet fast or er, in the helicopter fast enough and now he's wasted a good five to ten seconds here trying to take off and actually he's gonna cost us uh, getting the time in this video but normally this is how you do it then you want to take off right away don't waste time flying up just like fly the height you need to fly there to get over the building and start going now hopefully your fourth player is standing on top of the evac point right now if he is make sure he's right in the center and he's on foot and what you're going to want to do here is crash land this helicopter right into the center of the evac point. And if you do that, it'll beat the level for you. That way you don't have to waste time lowering yourself and getting out and everything. So you can see here in the video. There you go. And that counted as passing it. Alright, hopefully you'll be able to get the time and get your achievement. Good luck.